you can make grand gestures and still be artful and intimate about it. These are ancient civilizations that were separated by centuries, and yet, this same pictogram was discovered at every one of them. Prometheus is about a crew on a ship, Prometheus, and their search for the answers to the question of where we come from. And my character is about fact, science, and love of exploration, of the thrill of the search, which I think is innate in all scientists, no matter how large or small the field is in of the search. This happens to be pretty vast. Please, don't do it. Not, Ellie, Johnny, I'm not wearing this thing don't. anymore. That is the sweetest stare I have ever tasted. I went about creating my character on the fly. I, I, I got the role about a week before we started shooting. And, you know, I started with what I knew and what I shared with Charlie, which was, I believe in Darwinism. I believe in fact and science. But I also believe that there are greater things out there that aren't man-made. So I used that as my in. And Numi and I, we had to form a relationship very quickly. And it was important for us to form the relationship off screen and do the work and to get the specificity to it and find those idiosyncrasies in a relationship. You're smiling. I think they want us to come and find them. There is a lot of love there and respect there between the two, but we didn't want to shove it in anybody's face. You think we wasted our time coming here, don't you? Your question depends on me understanding what you hope to achieve by coming here. What we hope to achieve was to meet our makers, to get answers. Michael's character, David, being an android, that you've seen that before, that trauma with robots, but I wanted, actually, their antagonistic relationship to be formed by racism, by Charlie Holloway's inability to see androids as his equal. And I love that idea, I, and I don't think we've seen that yet in a science fiction, is that that is the inevitable end to androids in our society. We will find a way to be racist and bigots towards them once they get close to our level of uh, sensibilities, uh, spirit, and into that intelligence. There's a lot of bigotry with Charlie in regards to David. He's a racist. I like to give the audience a lot of reasons to hate me, and I like to give the audience a lot of reasons to love me at the same time. I don't like playing villains, and I don't like playing heroes. I like playing flawed people. Go faster! And start wide and track in. One of the biggest surprises about Ridley and working with him was his ability to work on such a vast scale on so many levels and yet be so intimate and available with the actor. I think Ridley Scott is the most collaborative director I've ever worked with. And he knows what he wants. And that's the first thing I need out of my director is that he knows or she knows what they want. But he wants you to find it with him. You know, he wants you to help him make a great movie. We're all here because of a map you two kids found in a cave. Not a map, an invitation. From whom? On set, first, they're massive, the baseball field size. And the first thing you really hear is, okay, let's let Ridley and the actors have the set. And that, that means let's let Ridley and actors have six walls of beautiful, realized worlds, planets. And we don't move the cameras back in their room until we get it, what we want. So we rehearse and we flesh out the scenes and he comes to me and says, you know, I don't really like the way this scene's working here and I don't really know what I want from you here, but he does. He just wants you to find it for yourself and he wants you to make big choices and he wants to waft you into those choices so that you own them. And he can just simply direct all the other departments. You know, he trusts the actors so much with those characters. And as an actor, that's all I want. I want a director who knows what he wants and is malleable to collaboration. He's the perfect example. And action. The way that you don't have these characters lost in the spectacle that is Prometheus, and that goes with also the hype, um, is that it was all real. It was all there. We were dealing with the same things and the same elements and the same design and effects that you were seeing. It was all there, the puppets are there. And the walls were built and the details were built and we are flashing our lights around and exploring in a real way. You're seeing fear, exploration and awe organically on our faces and that's Ridley for you. What would you be willing to do? Anything and everything. I do wish I was in a world where there were parts of the Earth that hadn't been explored. And so I love that idea of Charlie, that he gets to go to a place and explore. Woo! Come on, you ready to do this? I know you are.